Hello everyone and welcome to my Star Wars Battlefront 2 leaked trailer breakdown video. As most of you have probably seen it, the EA website apparently accidentally leaked the trailer for Battlefront 2. I don't even know if we know it's official yet, but everyone's making videos, it's pretty much official. And I think EA is, yeah, and because EA is taking things down, so it's obviously real, so I'm not going to show the trailer because it'll probably be taken down anyway, but I will be showing, I'll be going through it piece by piece and looking at it, seeing what I can find, any interesting things we can see in the background. So let's get started with the first shot. That's not the first shot. Here's the first shot. We see probably an introduction to the campaign, some TIE fighters, what looks to be a Star Destroyer over here, and a ship that we've never seen in a game or show before, the Imperial Raider class Corvette. It was invented for the tabletop game Star Wars X-Wing, so it's cool that we're seeing it in a game now. It looks to be the hub, maybe, later on in the trailer, or where our character is positioned, but let's move on. Here we see what looks to be the Seventh Sisters drone from Star Wars Rebels, and some TIE pilots standing on top of an ATST. Obviously positioned on indoor, and they're watching the Death Star explode, as you can see up there. Pretty startled. This looks to be our main protagonist of the campaign. A female Imperial officer, people are saying, but I think she's a Thai pilot. Which is interesting, because we've never had a story told from an Imperial point of view, let alone a pilot, so that's pretty interesting. Let's move on. This is nothing special. I can't tell what planet this is, but it's just a TIE fighter flying through what looks like some debris. There's a Star Destroyer there. Maybe this is the Death Star, possibly. I don't know. Uh, what's next? The Antle Star Story. This is the protagonist jumping into hyperspace. Here's our Corvette again, flying through. So this is obviously where she is, where she's stationed. We see a huge space battle here. Again, I can't tell what planet this is over, but we can see X-Wings, TIE Fighters, Y-Wings. These are two Star Destroyers, and the Turbo Lasers fire. I don't see any A-Wings, but I think we see those later on in the trailer. Maybe the Y-Wings will be playable in this game. We don't know yet. We know almost nothing. This is what interests me. Intrigues me, I think is the right word. Here's an A-Wing and X-Wing. And I can't tell what this structure is because it doesn't look like it's a Star Destroyer. And this leg is attached to the Star Destroyer, so it could be our first view of a shipyards. Maybe this is Kuat that we're seeing for the first time. But I would like to think that this is the shield gate above Scarif because this kind of looks like Scarif. But. The Star Destroyer was never docked to it, and these are Imperial 2 class Star Destroyers because of the bridge. The Imperial 1 class is Dread Scarif had a much taller bridge, so that might not be the case, but it's interesting to see. I hope we see a shipyard because we've never seen one of those in a video game before. So, under construction, Star Destroyers might have to attack or defend. Very interesting. Moving on, we can see First Order TIE Fighters flying away from. Starkiller base, what looks to be where General Hux gave his speech in episode 7. And they're all flying away towards, I'm assuming, a mission. This could be a cool game mode, like a huge fighter squadron game mode. Or this could be in episode 7, when the resistance is attacking the base. We might have to defend it, a, like Force Awakens based mission. We have multiplayer battles. This is, we can see the Empire. This has the Imperial flag. Uh, the logo on the flag, so this is an Imperial occupied planet or city. We can't tell what planet this is. I was, when I first saw it, I thought Coruscant immediately, but it can't be Coruscant. It just doesn't look like Coruscant. It looks desolate, and I think they, the Empire kept Coruscant up and active, but we can see Imperial walkers, so maybe Walker Assault is making a comeback. But yeah, we, I can't tell what planet this is, so if you have any ideas, please leave a comment. Uh, we see the Millennium Falcon. Hold on, let's see if I can move forward. The Millennium Falcon being chased by two TIE fighters on Takodana in Episode 7. That looks to be Maz's palace in the background. So a cool mission to play there 
First Order TIE Fighters, because this is Episode 7. The campaign seems to be taking place, from what anyone can tell, after the destruction of the second Death Star in Episode 6, all the way up to Episode 7. So that time span we don't know much about. Maybe, after I heard that, I was hoping we could participate in the Battle of Jakku, which we kind of did in Battlefront 1, but not really, it's just a DLC, an extra map. So maybe we could go into detail about what happened in the Battle of Jakku, but we don't know yet. Our next shot is on Hoth at the sunset, or sunrise, I'm going to say sunset. This is our more original trilogy stuff. We see a snow trooper. We see that jet or jump packs are making a return in the game. So maybe we're going back to the star card system, which is fine with me. This is the one everything's excited about. Rideable tauntauns and a rebel. And you can see the tauntaun goes boom right into that stormtrooper. So if we can do running dash attacks on a tauntaun and mow down stormtroopers, that'll be pretty fun, I think. Moving on. This is the exciting stuff. We have confirmation of all three eras with Darth Maul. And this room seems to be uh, the Naboo reactor room in the palace where Darth Maul, Qui-Gon Jinn, and Obi-Wan Kenobi fought in Episode 1. And he's going up against Master Yoda himself, which is stupid of you, Darth Maul. You're going to get destroyed. But you can see uh, Yoda pulling out his lightsaber, getting ready to fight him in this, the same area. Here is our shot of Rey and a First Order Stormtrooper in the background, so this is on Takodana, at the Battle of Takodana, I'm presuming. I can't tell if she's holding anything, but that is Rey, and she's running pretty fast from something. And we get our shot of Kylo Ren, and I think he's in a cave. I want to say this is Starkiller Base, but I could be wrong, because we never really see Starkiller Base, a cave or anything, so I could be wrong. And this is the final screen, Star Wars Battlefront 2. You pre-order it to get Star Wars The Last Jedi Heroes, which I guess would be skins for heroes, maybe old Luke. But I'm not going to pre-order it because I'm poor, but I might pre-order it later. This looks to be, or not looks to be, it is Darth Maul and Rey. And people are speculating that she might be holding a double-bladed lightsaber. I really hope not. That would make me upset. I think it's just the way she's holding Anakin's. We can see Venator class Star Destroyers up here. Maybe those are ARC-170 fighters, like the X-Wings of the Republic. And we have the, the Trade Federation landing craft and the Providence class cruisers. So we have a Republic versus Separatist space battle happening. Maybe this is Coruscant they're fighting over, like in Episode 3. I guess fighting under, because they're under it, but whatever. And this, I think, is our main protagonist. And that's really all we get. We don't get more information until April 15th when the trailer drops, which is very exciting. Because they have confirmed that a bigger trailer is coming on April 15th, so that was just a little sneak peek. But that is all we have. So now don't forget to follow me on Twitter where you can stay updated because I will be doing videos as Last Jedi news comes out, as more Battlefront news comes out, I know I'm going to be very busy this weekend with Star Wars Celebration. So follow me on Twitter at Rhino1343, turn on my post notifications, I'll be tweeting about it. I've been tweeting about the trailer that came out last night a whole lot. So yeah, follow me if you're interested, and subscribe to my YouTube channel for updates on the future of Star Wars Battlefront. Until then, I'll see you guys soon.